Hello everyone. This is the first video in a series I'm calling my homeschool teaching tips. And today's video is all about spelling. And um, I have a few things here on my table right in front of me that I use for spelling, for teaching spelling in my homeschool. Now, um, I know a lot of parents think I know my child needs to learn how to spell, but where do I begin? How do I begin to teach my child to spell? Well, the first thing you want to start with is the alphabet. You want to start with alphabet recognition, mastery of sounds, and um, upper and lowercase recognition. Okay, you want to make sure that your child has a good, firm grasp of the alphabet. And uh, from there, you want to make sure that they know the vowel sounds, the difference between the vowels and consonants. So you want to work on that, um, I would say, beginning with uh, preschool. You want to start between the ages of two and three years old, of them uh, mastering alphabet and vowel sounds in order to build a better speller as they uh, continue to grow. Um, I would also recommend learning sight words at an early age as well. Once they've mastered the alphabet and, and vowel sounds, then you want to move on to sight words. Because sight words don't follow your typical vowel sound rules. And so children need to know that. Um, making sure that they know that there are words that don't follow the rules help them with their spelling. This way they're not constantly trying to sound out every single word. They'll know, wait a minute, this word doesn't follow the rules. I need to use a different technique in order to spell that word. I need to memorize that word. So there are certain words that can be sound, um, can be spelled by sounding them out. And then there are words that can be spelled only through memorization. Okay, so it's important that they learn that very early on. So here are just a few of the books that I use um, for my preschool through, uh, I would say, maybe first grade uh, students. I, I work with them with... Um, with these books here. This is an excellent book. This is uh, by Abeka Handbook for Reading. I would recommend this book to anyone. Even if you don't buy the entire curriculum, please purchase this book. Uh, this book is an excellent way of teaching, I would say, preschool four through kindergarten um, alphabet sounds. It also is great with sounding out words, teaching blends, teaching... Um, vowel sounds, how they are put together, how they are said and pronounced. This is very, that is a very important skill for your little one to learn. Um, these are my notes that I have here. I don't want to forget to mention anything. Um, also, you want to encourage inventive spelling through daily writing. And you want to encourage, encourage that as early as about preschool four through kindergarten. And um, even later, even later on, if you haven't already started and your child is, say, first grade and they haven't really done that, you want to continue. You want to start, at least, um, encouraging them with inventive spelling. And all inventive spelling is when your child comes to you and says, Mommy, how do you spell cat? How do you spell dog or whatever the word is? You can say to them, you know what? Why don't you sound it out? You know your letter sounds, sound out those words. And even if it's incorrect, for instance, if they want to uh, spell the word chair and they say ch, air, well, they, they don't really know uh, the special sound ch, that um, ch sound is a special sound. So they may say ch. They may say, oh, that sounds like an S, and they may say S-A-I-R. So um, that is inventive spelling, and I encourage that because it helps your child to develop a listening, an ear for listening for sounds, okay? If they can sound them out themselves, even if it's incorrect, you could take a child's writing who has um, spelled using inventive spelling and you will be able to understand everything that they have written on the page, even though the majority of the words are spelled incorrectly. So inventive spelling is definitely encouraged. Um, I, I definitely discourage for parents to say, oh, you spelled this word incorrectly. You know, at an early state, at the early stages of writing, 
if, as long as it's spelled inventively and it's spelled phonetically correct, I would go ahead and leave that as it is and read it so that they know, wow, you know, you do understand what I have written. And so that's very important for them because you don't want them to become so afraid of making a mistake in spelling that they stop writing. Okay, so that, that's very important. I'm, I wanted to make sure I mentioned that. Um, also, um, I'm looking at my notes here. <laughs> Sorry, I'm kind of cheating, I guess. Um, you want to teach blends and diagraphs. Now, blends and diagraphs are uh, two letters that you put that are put together to make a special sound or to make, uh, when you put blends together, there are typically two consonants that come together to form um, two separate sounds like stop in the word stop. Okay. The ST would be a blend. Okay. And a diagraph would include an alphabet. Okay. So for instance, like STA, st A or st A, depending on whether it's a long vowel or a short vowel. And um, going back to vowels really quickly, um, making sure that when you teach vowels, you are teaching according to long and short sounds so that they know that each vowel makes two sounds. It says its name and it also says its sound. So that's very important um, when teaching the vowels. Okay. And um, also... Uh, once you once they've been taught uh, blends and diagraphs, you want to go ahead and start teaching them rules for reading and decoding because that helps with spelling. OK, for instance, learning that when there are two vowels in the word, it use the first one does the talking and the second one does the walking. In essence, the first one says its name and the second vowel is usually silent. Now. Um, there are lots of words that don't necessarily follow that rule, but they will learn that as they continue on in their spelling journeys. Okay. Um, but for the most part, they will learn um, to decode words and to spell them based on the rules that you've taught them. For instance, the rule that there is always a vowel in a word. OK, they have to learn that. So if they're trying to spell something and they're omitting a vowel, then they would understand that, okay, this is not a word because it has no vowels. It's not a word in the English language. <laughs> anyway, um, so that's important um, for decoding is teaching the rules. And I'll go back to the handbook for reading from Abeka because this book teaches a lot of the rules for reading. Let's see if I can go um, flip through and I can find one of those rules for you. I love this book because as they progress, they become better, not, not only better readers, but also better spellers as well. And um, let's see one of the rules that they have here. Um, hmm, let's see if I can find one. I'm sorry, bear with me. Okay, here's a rule. Here's a spelling hint that they have here. And it says, the special sound CK usually follows a short vowel, as in ack, ek, ik, ok, and uck. KE usually fo follows a long vowel. Okay, so here is one of the rules for spelling the words like tuck and peck and rick and neck. Okay. So once your child learns these rules, and again, not that they should have to memorize all of those rules, but these rules give hints on how to spell certain words. And that is very important. Okay. Um, for the sake of brevity, I'm going to go ahead and just read off a list of other things that I have on my, in my notes for spelling. We were at decoding. Um, so basically, you want to uh, teach phonics-based spelling in pre-K through second grade. You want them to have a very, very strong phonics um, foundation in the early grades because it will help with spelling as they get a little bit further along. Third grade and up, you want to teach spelling techniques through spelling activities and games. And certain spelling techniques would be um, 
how to memorize words, because at this point, they've already memorized a lot of um, frequently used sight words. And hopefully at this point, they can already spell those words. So now it's time to get a little bit um, further in in bigger vocabulary words and spelling words that are going to be used in their reading, that they're going to notice in their reading, and um, that they are going to use in their writing as their writing progresses. So, um, so you want to have them to do certain techniques. I usually have my children do what's called triangle spelling. And basically, it's taking the word and uh, spelling each letter of the word one at a time on each line. For instance, if you want to take the word phonics and you wanted to spell the word phonics, I would write P on the first line. Then the next line, I would write P and then H. And then on the third line, I'd write P, H, O. And again, it's called triangle spelling because as you continue to spell it, it will form a triangle. So then on the fourth line, I would take P, H, O, N. And this is helping them to spell. Some children need to do what I call writing it on their brain. Some children learn uh, through writing things down. If they write it down, they have a better time memorizing what they've written. And so for those types of, of learners, um, triangle spelling works wonders for their spelling. Uh, for others who are more tactile learners, I have these... Um, tiles here and I'll have them to go over their spelling words and write their spell and I'm sorry and spell their words using these tiles and spelling them out physically with these tiles. I also have other types of letters like foam letters and wooden letters and different things like that that also helps with more tactile learners. Um, I have a game here that's played with the alphabet. This is from Discovery Toys. Um, <clears throat> I use this a lot because it helps with just critical thinking skills. So I, I like this game and it helps with spelling because it uses the alphabet. Um, so moving along, having your children in third grade and up to um, learn different spelling techniques and strategies through spelling activities and games is very important. You may have your child to write the word three to five times writing the words in a sentence, using the words in a sentence will also help them to um, not only spell the word, but also to understand um, how the word is used and to use the word correctly. They can even make flashcards with the words. Um, writing them on index cards will also help them playing Scrabble and spelling those words out. That will be um, very helpful for some students. So every student learns differently. And finding the right technique in third grade and up for your child to um, memorize their spelling words is very important because you have to find something that will work for them. Otherwise, spelling will become a struggle. My six-year-old literally can look at a list of spelling words and in five minutes, he's memorized the words. He has an awesome memory. So for him, it's a challenge for me finding spelling words that um, will give him more of a challenge. So this this year, um, we started with Dr. Fry's spelling book. And again, he's six. He'll be seven in um, another couple weeks. And um, we started him with this year, Dr. Fry's spelling book. And he breezed through this uh, book, basically because he can memorize words very easily. Memorization is very easy for him. For some children who memorization is not so easy for, this Building Spelling Skills First Grade book is a very good starter because it, it um, does different activities with the words over and over again. So it um, helps them to apply the words to their memory by using them over and over again. Um, just a lot of different things that I use here, spelling and vocabulary skills. This is a great book that we also use. My son also did um, half of this book. I, I noticed that um, halfway through the book, he was just eating the words alive. So um, right now I am moving on to this uh, success in spelling fourth grade by uh, Weaver which is a part of the Alpha Omega Christian curriculum. And uh, these are the words that my son is going to start spelling. They mostly deal with uh, homophones. 
and I thought this would be a great challenge for him um, for his spelling. So I hope this video was helpful. If you have any suggestions or comments or questions, please list them. And I will try my best to answer all comments, questions, and so forth. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you subscribe. Thank you and have a good day.